This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on working with stills in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. Still photographs, slides, and digital images are a common component of many video projects today. In this short video, I'll show you how to use Topaz Photo AI to improve the look and resolution of our still images. The reasons that I like Photo AI is it's an AI-assisted tool to improve images. This includes image clarity and sharpening, removing noise, especially from low-light images, and upscaling with an emphasis on improving faces. A free trial is available which allows you to do everything you can do with the software except save the final image. So I'm working with the free trial today to show you what this can do. And it, for me, with a lot of the older images that I've got, this can make a big difference. But it's up to you to decide if it works in your workflow. You can purchase it for up to two systems for a one-time price of $199. And to learn more, go to topazlabs.com. Let me show you how Topaz Photo AI works. I have three images we're going to look at. A bird. The choir shot and me. So let's just grab these and drag them on top of the Photo AI app. Normally this would be in the dock. I put it up here just to make it easier to see. The application itself starts and this is the free demo. Remember I can see everything about it in the demo but I can't save it. And the image that's the source is on the left. The corrected image is on the right and this bar down here indicates what it's working on. This is the default setting. Look at how the picture on the left is not bad, but how much brighter, smoother, better resolved it is. Look at the difference between my beard on the left and my beard on the right. This is the default, it's called autopilot. I also see here is if you look, especially in this mid gray area, there's a lot of grain called noise that I'd like to remove because that noise is still here. So I'm going to click the Remove Noise button and watch this image. First you see what's happening down here. Look at this. The noise is there in the source, but not there when it is displayed. Now there's a couple of different ways we can remove noise, normal and strong. I like normal because if you get too heavy with noise removal, the things start to look plastic and artificial, and I don't like that. But you can see already that it makes a big difference in, the, in how the image is structured. It also has improved magnification. We'll make it two times. It's doubled the resolution. So before it was a 1920 shot, now it's roughly 3,800 pixels. That looks a lot better. Remember the, the bird that I showed you before? Let's just zoom in, Command Plus, and drag over. This is zoomed in a bit, and notice that the feathers are not particularly well defined, but look at the change over here. Much nicer. I'm going to remove the grain, remove the noise by turning this on, and I'm going to change the resolution so it, it's improved by just three. And look at the detail that we can see. Look at how it seems to be sharper, because it is. It, it's used AI to invent data where none was there based upon the, the existing data in the source image. But it's a much more present, pleasing look on the right than on the left. Now, it may not be good for you, may not work for your project, that's fine. But I wanted to show you what it can do. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on working with still images inside Adobe Premiere Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 347. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. 
Our training covers a variety of software, and we update it multiple times each month. For more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.